understand English? Get lost. Sorry, no paparazzi allowed. Okay, so we have to do something with that paint bucket. Sweet. Let's see. Okay, so put the paint bucket up there. Keep walking, hippie. She looks like a pissed off wet cat, and she's still stylish. <laughs> okay, let's go back into the uh, closet where we were. Maybe we can do something in there. Okay, so we already used the water pump. Can't use anything else in here. Okay, so let's go back out. Can we do anything over here? Okay, so we have to stay in here because we have to do something with that paint bucket. Let's talk to this girl right here. Can we talk yeah. to you? Okay. Let's see if we can talk to these guys. Can we talk to you? I must have missed something. I should rewind. Okay, so we must have missed something. Oh, I see. We gotta wait till he gets up on the ladder and then use the, uh... And then we gotta use the, uh, sprinkler system. So we'll wait till he gets up here and hangs that bucket. Okay. So we'll run over here and use the sprinkler system. Something I can do here. Okay. So, let's go use the sprinkler system. This main sprinkler valve looks easy enough to use. Well, I can't use it. Why can't I push the button? I could crank the sprinkler up and give Victoria and her clones incentive to beat it. This main sprinkler valve looks easy enough to use. Okay, I'll have this guy walk back over there. Sweet. Come on, Samuel. Have him walk over with that paint bucket and then we'll throw the sprinkler system on it. It should. It's probably going to knock him off balance and then the paint will spill on him. To wait for him to go up there. Awesome. Okay, so go over here, make sure he's up here and he is going to hang that paint bucket. Then we can use the sprinkler system. It'll probably knock him off balance. And then, there we go. Okay. Go ahead and use the sprinkler system. This main sprinkler valve looks easy enough to use. Oh, we got to rewind. What the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this! Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. Nice. There goes Samuel da Vinci to paint the window. Let's see if this works. Dude. No way! No fucking way! You okay, way. Victoria?
Victoria? Oh, Sammy, oh, sorry. Wet, wet paint is not good for hair, nope. Sorry. Get the hell away from me, weirdo! Yeah. Hold on, hold on, we'll get some towels, we'll be right back. So move your ass before I dry! It worked! Awesome. Don't mess with Max, bitches. Uh, hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? Uh, we'll comfort her. We'll be nice. I am sorry. That's an awesome cashmere coat. It was. But there'll be another. Well, you always seem to know how to pick the right outfits. I do have some talent. Mr. Jefferson told me. I've seen your pictures. You have a great eye. Richard Avedon-esque. He's one of my heroes. Thanks, Max. Yeah. I hope those sluts get me a towel before they hang a sign on me. <laughs> awesome. You deserve a better shot. Sorry about blocking you and... and the go-fuck-yourselfie. That was mean, but pretty funny. One of those days, you know? I know exactly what you mean, Victoria. I'll see you later. Alright. Alright, All right. so she moved and we made a friend. Cool. Victoria probably played me. I should have played her. Better get to my room before I find Warren. Uh, we'll take the high road. We don't want to play her. We'll take the high road and... Make a friend out of it, hopefully. Let's look at the slate. Room 217? No way in hell am I ever going in here. <laughs> Victoria is going to be pissed we took so long. Juliet, extreme reporter. Alright, so where's our room at? Toilet paper. Looks like nobody won this TP war. There's nothing left but ghosts. Okay, where's our room at? Is this our room right here? Nope. Hmm. There we go. Here's our room. Home right. sweet home. My favorite cocoon. I am so addicted to this site. Look at these vintage beauty. Warren makes me laugh. It's nice to feel like I already made a real friend here. All right. Max, thanks for your email and copy of Jefferson's class notes. Now I shall never stop sending you messages of gratitude. I also have a rather eclectic collection of TV cult classic and fucked up films on a fat flash drive. If you ever wanted to check them out, thanks again for the help. I'm a scientist more than an artist. Now can you... Quickly explain to me how a camera works. Be seeing you, Warren G. Okay, so where, oh where, is our flash drive? One day I'll organize my film collection. One day I'll get an actual HD TV. Oh, we got a text from Mom. Max, your principal sent me an email saying that you told some tell tales about a Blackwell honor student. Is this true? The principal said this was a serious false charge and that he was worried you're telling stories. Call me ASAP so we can talk about this, Mom. Warren makes me laugh. It's nice to feel like I already made a real okay, friend Okay, so here. where is the flash drive? Instant film? Instant film is so damn hard to find and expensive now. I'm glad Kate let me borrow her copy of The October Country. I should have every Bradbury book for myself. Ooh, it's in the drawer. <sighs> Max and Chloe. Best friends forever. Who even says that anymore? I'm going to have to call Chloe eventually and find out what she'll say. The longer I wait, the worse it'll be. Idiot. Okay, so Chloe is one of our best friends apparently, so let's go play some music. Okay, where is the flash drive? Gotta find the flash drive. Hard to believe I'm 18 now. I'm lucky my parents enabled my photo habit into adulthood. 
Happy birthday, Maxine. We'll never forget the day you were born. Your first smile it was love at first sight. It's your special day. We miss you, but we're so proud that you're following your dreams. We love you, your mother and father. All right. It's not exactly pretty in pink, but no shits are given. I like my wardrobe. <laughs> no shits are given. If I'm not looking through a viewfinder, I'm looking through a window. Always looking. Here's my go-to source for instant photo inspiration. Philip Lorca de Corsha, my man. I don't think I could take my camera to those places. Look at that shot. I love Julia Cameron's Victorian vibe. Talk about analog cameras. Ah, oh, Dolly, what a fantastic eye. He could truly freeze time. Warren even left me a little message with his flash drive. He's such a goofball. To Max or whom it may concern, the cinematic contents of this flash drive are a graphic, liter life altering, controversial nature. This collection has been downloaded with the greatest care and for the most discriminating viewer. I congratulate you on your taste and eagerly await you in your in depth interviews of Cannibal Holocaust and Ultra Vixens. Peace, Warren G. Ahoy, Captain. At least I know you've got my back. When I swallowed your eye and my parents rushed me to the ER, I knew we were bonded forever. Okay. Let's take a photo of ourselves. I like the song. It's a good soundtrack. That's the only tourist picture I let them take of me at the Space Needle. Hmm. That was a good hockey game and a great fight. Man, Kristen and Fernando were so drunk hanging on the Fremont Troll. Okay, so where is the flash drive that we need? I just can't <sighs> find it yet. Max and Chloe, best friends forever. Okay, you look at our photos. The Max the Caulfield wall. Photo Memorial Wall. So cheesy, but it makes me smile thinking of the day Mom and I sewed that together. <sighs> it feels so nice to just relax. This day has been so damn bizarre, and it feels like it has gone on forever. Maybe I'll just wake up now and find out I was dreaming all of this. Or like Poe said, a dream within a dream. I'm gonna play our guitar. She can play guitar? That's cool. She's a very fasc fascinating character. She's got a lot of different levels to her. Okay, well, we gotta find this flash drive, so let's see if we can find it. Pen it. I'll miss going to the games with my dad. Go Thunderbirds. You water our plant? You are thirsty. I'm the worst baby mama. Drink up. Flash drive, flash drive, flash drive. There's my poor laptop begging me to... There's my poor laptop begging me to check in. Looks like Dana left me a little post-it note. Hey girl, I borrowed your drive so I can watch some flicks while I study. If you need it back, just track me down in my room. Okay? Great. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. Okay, so Dana went into our room without asking, of course, and has the flash drive. You can't get out now, Dana. So tell me the truth or rot in there. 
Whoa. What's going on? Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. Hey, Juliet, is everything cool? Oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. What did she do? What did she do? What didn't she do? Dana's been sexting with my boyfriend. Ouch. How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk. Just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? Um... <laughs> Juliet Pats... Juliet Patson. That was truly sad. Thanks for your concern, Max Caulfield. By the way, Juliet Watson. Okay, so we gotta hey, talk Juliet. to her again. Is everything cool? Oh yes, Max. So I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. Juliet Watson, be nice. Juliet Watson, you be nice. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Uh, of course I do. Thanks. I locked Dana in because she was sexting Zach, my boyfriend. Unbelievable. Would Dana do that? Would Dana do that? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? Huh. She saw the sext. And Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. Max, hmm. I swear I didn't do anything. But I bet Victoria did. I know the proof is in her room. Huh, okay. So where is Victoria's room? Where is Victoria's room? We have to find the proof. Is it over here? Well, that's the bathroom. There we go. Probably not supposed to be in here, but... We can see if we can find it. I'll give Victoria props for not posting my photo. And for this nice shot. Boom! This is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. Taylor, so sad to inform you that I... Totally punked Juliet and Dana just now. All I had to do was mention to Juliet and I saw a nasty sex from Dana on Zach's phone. Dumbass believed me and so I expect there to be a dorm rampage soon. Juliet deserves this for slutting Zach away from me. As for Dana, who gives a shit? As for Dana, who gives a shit? Get out your popcorn, VC. Okay, well at least Victoria is not here to see us go in her room. But we do have to show Juliet. I'm not letting her out until she tells the truth. Leave me alone, Max. Get a clue. I should find a way to end this silly standoff. Okay. Can I take a picture of the email? Victoria is a real Jefferson groupie. Victoria hates Rachel Amber this much? How insecure. Hmm. Okay, we have to find some way for Juliet to see that email. I bet Victoria put Juliet on her shit list after this article. No, officer, I'm not snooping. Just admiring Victoria. Is she going to get a 3D printer for her dorm room? Maybe I will join her posse. A 300, three, $3,600 desktop 3D printer. Okay, so... Yes, I get it. Enter the Vortex Club. Okay, if I did wear expensive jewelry, I would wear this for sure. Okay, we're gonna print the email. Take this. This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. Hopefully Victoria is not standing out here. Okay, we're good. Alright, let's go over to Juliet and show her this email. Get Dana out of the closet. Juliet, read this. Of 
course. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No, but I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's <laughs> see what Zach has to say about Victoria. You set me free. Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. All right, let me get that flash drive so I can go see Warren. Almost done. Get the flash drive and then I'll go see Warren. Must protect my precious so Max never has to chase it down again. Hey, let's talk to Dana real quick. Hey, Dana. Seriously, thanks again. I can't believe Juliet locked me in my own room. Real mature. Victoria is not nice. Victoria is not nice. I don't get it. She has everything. And to pull that prank on a friend? Just because they're in the Vortex Club doesn't mean they're BFFs. I'm in it, and Victoria creeps me out. Max, you're smart to be a loner here. Though Warren obviously likes hanging with you. Hey, he's a good guy. He's a good guy. A geek like me. You saw the files in his flash drive. Tons of crazy shit. Films I've never even heard of. And in a special folder called Max. Yeah, okay. I gotcha. Okay, so... Warren might have a little crush on us. So let's go... Oh, got an email from Warren, or a text from Warren. I don't mean we get out here forever. I love this parking lot. I can count all the cars. The more I text, the longer I take. On my way. Bye. Okay. So let's leave the girls' dorm, and we'll go meet Warren in the parking lot. Okay, so we gotta go this way to our left. Fuck this shit! Ow! Whoa! That hurt! Damn, I better rewind. Get lost, hipster. I'm not doing any interviews. Fuck this shit! Ow! That hurt! Oh, we gotta go back. Alyssa, move your head. If you insist, Max. Whoa. Now that's what I'm talking about. I actually helped somebody. The action will have consequences. Okay. It's probably a good consequence. Okay, so we'll move over here. We'll go to the parking lot meet Warren. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. I'm gonna take a photo. You can't fool me. I know everything about this school. I cover the waterfront. So you better figure out what side you're on. Please, leave me alone. What the heck was that about? Hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks for nothing, Max. Uh-oh. Man, I should have stepped in between Kate and David. That asshole was so over the line. I could rewind and try something different. Okay, so let's intervene, because this guy's... So don't think I'm blind. I see everything This guy's a little much Blackwell. for her right now. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. We're gonna intervene. Hey, why don't you leave her alone? Excuse us, this is official campus business. Excuse me, you shouldn't be yelling at students or bullying them. Hey, hey, nobody is bullying anybody. I'm doing my job. No, you're not. You're part of the problem, Missy. I will remember this conversation. That's fine. You're doing way too much, man. Take your ass somewhere else. Oh, Max, that was great. I think you scared him for once. I, I have to go, but thank you. It means a lot. Anytime, Kate. 
I felt like an everyday hero helping. I'm glad I stepped in that time. Can't stand to see people being bullied. Okay, it looks like Warren is over here. So let's go talk to him. Max, get your ass over here. What up, Max? How are you? Here's your flash. Thanks. No problem. Check out my new wheels. Cool. Very old school. 1978 to be exact. Now we can go to the drive-in. There's one in Newburgh just 60 miles away. You're in the wrong time, Warren. But then, so am I. You okay? It's been one strange fucking day. I bet. I heard Victoria got a face full of paint. I'd pay money to see a photo of that. Really? Really? I wish I would have known. You probably could have raised a Kickstarter fund just for that one image of her covered in paint. Had I known that... Anyway, Victoria took down my photo, so... That drama ended well. So, did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? Uh, I've been busy. No, I've been way too busy with class. And life. Damn, girl, you had it like a year. Or a week. I did browse through all the titles, Drama Queen. Ha ha. Make sure you watch Cannibal Holocaust. Uh, I've seen it. Seen it? I was more disturbed by all those emo vampire movies in there. Can a sensitive high school boy love sensitive vampires too? So you're sensitive. Ouch, that sounds awful the way you say it. Faster pussycat kill kill. No, I was impressed you had faster pussycat kill kill. Russ Mayer was a genius of black and white. Plus, babes with breasts. Who would beat your sensitive ass down? If I was lucky. Speaking of hip and fast, we should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. But you seem distracted. I need to talk. I need to talk to somebody. Just to get it out of my system. Dr. Warren Graham is in the house. I won't even prescribe you any meds. Tell me everything. For reals, Warren. This is between you and me. Not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I mean, life-changing. Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? You're one of the Jefferson's photo groupies? I'm one of his students. What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. You best tell me what you told the principal, now. Told him the truth. Answer me, bitch! I told him the truth. A student had a gun. No, you told him I had a gun. That's why he dragged me into his office. And did what? Give you a stern lecture? Nobody. Nobody lectures me. Everyone tries, though. <laughs> they try. You should talk to somebody, Nathan. Do not analyze me! I pay people for that. Worry about yourself, Max Caulfield. Take a step back. Take a step back, Nathan Prescott. Oh man, you're telling me what to do? Get away from her, dude! Oh! Hey, leave him alone! Damn. Nobody tells me what to do! Not my parents, not the principal, that. or that whore right in the bathroom! <gasps> Max? Chloe? Whoa! No way. You again! Go! Oh, go! Oh, I got this! Oh crap, hey, man. Max. Get your punk asses out of there now! Don't even try to run! Nobody! Me. Nobody! Holy crap, man. Whoa. Man, Nathan Prescott is messed up and dangerous. 
This day never ends. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. Don't give me the guilty face. At least pretend you're glad to see me. I am seriously glad to see you. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Yes, it's been that kind of day. So what did that freak want with you? Hopefully nothing. Hopefully nothing after today. So, how do you know Nathan? He's just another Arcadia asshole. Your friend really took a beat down for you. Warren? Yeah, I owe him big time. You're not the only one in debt. And you're already causing trouble. I thought it would be quiet here. It feels so weird to be back. So I guess Seattle sucked hard? Yeah, I guess. I guess. It was cool, but I felt kind of lonely, out of my league. I would think you'd fit right in with the art school hipsters. Right. You look like the cover of hipstergirl.com. At least you're still a smartass. That's why I'm here. Please, girl. You came back for Blackwell Academy. Of course. Of course, it's one of the best photography programs in the country. And my favorite teacher, Mark Jefferson. So you came back to Arcadia for a teacher, not your best friend. <laughs> Don't you think I'm happy to see you? No. You were happy to wait five years without a call or even a text. Damn. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know things were tough on you when I left. How do you know? You weren't even here. I didn't order my parents to move specifically to fuck you over, Chloe. You've been at Blackwell for almost a month without letting me know. Enough said. I just wanted to settle in first and not be such a shy, cliche geek. I totally would have contacted you. I bet you don't use these sad excuses on Mr. Jefferson. Don't use them on me, Max. haven't heard that one in a while. Not everything changes. Except my camera has officially taken a shit. <laughs> my step douche has a boatload of tools. Maybe you can fix it in my place. I need very specific tiny tools. Bird alert. My stepdad has a fully stocked garage. And he actually is a tiny tool. <laughs> Welcome home, Max. Come on in, don't be shy. The house still looks nice. Home shit home. My room looks a bit different than the last time you saw it. 